day, my viewers. You are welcome to another episode of Alternative to Chemistry Practical. Today we will be considering some errors students commit while taking readings and in while performing the table during the situation. This is another year question. We will be solving this question today. Read with me. The following results. The following results were recorded by a student when 25.00 cm cube portion of a solution of impure. Note that word impure potassium trisocarbonate 4 were titrated against 0. Point, against 0. 0.1 Zero zero mole per dA cube tetra also solving six acid. Now, this mole per dA cube, you should know what that means. That's the molar concentration of the acid. Okay, this is the table. All these are questions. This is, this is the result the student got while titrating. Okay, we have the first titer, the second titer, and then this is the table. We have the equation of the reaction, and then the student got this uh, this title value. Okay, now let's see the question. Let's see the question. Now, the question: List three errors in this table. The table I showed you the other time. This table. The question is telling us to point out three errors that we observe in this table. Now, if you observe very well, anytime you are forming your table in the real practical, you need to put the unit, the unit of the volume. The unit, and what's the unit of the volume? The unit of the volume is a centimeter cube. Whenever you are drawing table of a uh, table of value, in in, during, I mean, during titration, when you are drawing table of value, during titration, the unit is a centimeter cube. So if you observe this table very well, there is no unit. So number one error is absence. Absence of what? Absence of unit. So in that table, there should be unit, and the unit should be a centimeter cube. Another error. Another error. Now, if you look at the title value that this person got, let's look at what he used. He used 23 23.10, 23.50. .23 there is a rule when you are drawing your title value. And what is the rule? I mean, when you are calculating your average, the average title, there is a rule. And what is the rule? The rule is that you must use concordance value. You must do what? You must use concordance value. And what's the meaning of concordance value? Concordance values are titles in which their differences is plus or minus 0.2 cm cube. Titles in which their differences is plus or minus 0.2 cm cube. Now, if you look at the title value this person used, he has not obeyed concordance value. So, uh, we will say that um, concordance value. Concordance value were not were not used. So the person that formed this table did not use concordance value because even if you have used concordance value now, you were so uh, the value supposed to use this 23.70 and 23.50 because those are the ones that the difference between them is not more than 0 0.2. So suppose not to use this here, 23. Point one zero. Now another error. Now how do we arrive at this one? The, the best thing is that uh, we are going to minus the initial twenty two point five zero. You minus twenty two point five zero uh, twenty two point five zero from twenty five point six zero to get this to get twenty three point one zero. Now you can press your calculator twenty four point six zero. If you take away 1.80 will it give you 23.70? Check very well. Now, if you check, you will see that there's an error here. There's an error here too. 
that's not the correct value the person is supposed to get. So we can say arithmetic, arithmetic, arithmetic error, arithmetic error, arithmetic error in the table, arithmetic error, and that is the second. The second and what and the third titles. The second table, the second titles, and then the third titles. That's where we have the arithmetic error. Another question. The question is asking us to mention a suitable indicator used for the experiment. Suitable indicator used for this kind of experiment. If you check, we are having now. Uh, a weak base which is a potassium carbonate and then we have a strong acid so whenever we have a strong acid versus a weak base the suitable indicator we are going to use there is a methyl methyl orange methyl orange that suitable indicator we are supposed to use for this kind of a titration and why the, the titration is between a strong acid and a weak Base. Now, the next question, the color before and at the end of the titration, when we are titrating, we put indicator inside our base. Please take note, when we are titrating, we put indicator where? Inside the base. And in that case, we are using material. So when we are using material, we put material inside the base. The color of material before the titration. Before, before the titration, in the base, in the base, before the titration, we have if we put material rate inside our base, the color will be yellow. Some people even say orange. Before the titration to be yellow, and after or at the end of the titration, at the end, that is when we have attained our our, our end point. I will at the blow point, your mind. And that's where that neutralization has taken place. Question one is now. Explain why the explain why the end point would not be affected if 5.0 centimeters of the sea water were added to the titration mixture while the titration was in progress. That is when we are titrating now. If I get that the base already inside the follicle flask. Then you you titrate the added acid. Now then in that mixture you add water. Automatically we have the same water flow. The concentration will not be affected. The question is now asking us why. The reason is that uh, the concentration will not be affected because the water was not added to the concentration of the acid or the base. I repeat. Adding 5 cm of this water to the mixture will not affect, affect the end point, rather. It won't affect the end point because the, uh, the, the, the distilled water will not affect the concentration of either the acid or the base. You get it now. The concentration at the end, the end point will not be affected because 5 distilled water will not affect the concentration of either the acid or Okay, that is that about that. Then the next question, calculate the number of moles of acid in the average titer. Remember, mold, when you are calculating mold in um, in our titration, mold is given by and this mold you can also call it amount. You can also call it what? Amount. You can also say amount is equal to molarity. And then, because we are talking about acid now, we are using molarity of A multiplied by the volume of A. That's our average title. Multiplied by the volume of A divided by 1000. So, this is the formula for calculating molarity. Molarity, and our molarity of A, the molarity of A that was given was a 0 0.100. Multiply by now this volume of A that is error there. That is error. So 
If you do the calculation here very well, if you line up 1.80 from 24.60, we should have 22.80 plus 1.80. And if you do the same thing here, we should have 22.95. In that case, it means that this averaging is wrong. This averaging is what is wrong. So this is the new averaging we are going to use now. So we are going to calculate this by saying 22.80 plus 22.95. Remember, I was talking about uh, concordance value divided by 2. So our normal averaging here will now be 22.88 cm cubed. That's our average now, and that's what we are going to use here. So we'll be using 22, 22.88 divided by 1000 to calculate our mole. So if you press the calculator very well, remember I was saying that molarity. Molarity of A is the same thing as mole per J of A. Okay, and then the volume of it, that's our average titan. And that's what we use, it varied by 1,000. We are going to have 0 0.00228. That is the amount of mole. The next question, if 18.8 gram of impure, not that word, in pure K2CO3 was used, determine the expected determine the expected percentage purity. Now the question actually asks us to calculate the percentage purity of K2CO3. And remember, this is the formula for calculating the percentage purity. Percentage purity is equal to mass of pure over mass of impure multiplied by 100. Now this is the formula we are going to use to calculate percentage purity. Do you get it now? We are using this formula to calculate uh, percentage purity. So we are going to check where are the parameters. We are given mass of impure which is this one but we are not given mass of pure and we don't know percentage purity. Are you following? So we are going to get mass of pure. Now we can easily get mass of pure from C C B is equal to mass of pure K2CO3 over molar mass. Molar mass of K2. CO3. So we can get mass of pure here now from this formula. We can get mass of pure K2CO3 from this formula. But note, since we've been calculating, they don't give us CB again. That's another thing. So we are going to look for where we can get CB so that we can insert it in this formula and get mass of pure and then put it in. So from there, we can easily get CB from this formula. C A, which I call Savan. C A B A over C B V B is equal to N A over N B. Alright? So our C A was given, remember? Our C A was given, which was uh, 0 0.100 multiplied by our volume. Now we will be using this, the one we just calculated, 22. 0.88 divided by our CB, that's one with one point, multiplied by our PB, which is a 25 gram constant, that's the volume of this. Okay, is equal to the mole ratio. The mole ratio of acid to base is a uh, one ratio one. One ratio one. So we have one over one. We are making CB subject of the formula. Note. Anytime you are using this formula, make sure you firstly insert those figures in the formula. Firstly, before you make anything the subject of the formula, so that you do not lose mark. So when you are going to multiply here and make CB the subject of the formula. So if you do so, just say 
zero from all the, the upper, all the upper value here multiplied by the lower value on the opposite side here, which is zero point one zero zero multiplied by twenty two point eight eight multiplied by one divided by twenty five. Point zero multiplied by one. So our answer. So our answer now is uh, you press the calculator very well. You have to make out zero point zero nine one five more per DMQ. Remember, it must be in three significant figures. It must be what? Three significant figures. In the last episode, I have explained why uh, this must be written like this. Do you understand now? Now that we have gotten our CV to be 0 0.0915, uh, 0 is equal to now. We want to make mass form the subject of the formula, which is the pure mass. Let's represent it with x over. We can easily calculate the molar mass of uh, K2CO3. The atomic mass of potassium is uh, 39 multiplied by 2 because the actual atoms of potassium here plus the atomic mass of carbon is 12 plus the atomic mass of oxygen is 15 because the atomic mass of oxygen is multiplied by 3 so you must enjoy that you do your molar mass because the calculation of the molar mass so that you get the mass for this calculation so making x the subject of the formula, making x the subject of the formula, which is our pure mass, we are going to cross multiply, then we have 0 0.0915 multiply by if you do this calculation very well, you get 138. 138. So, so our pure mass now, our pure mass, when you do this calculation, is going to be 12.68 gram per what per DMQ. Please make sure you use correct unit. Gram per DMQ. Now we have calculated our mass, our pure mass. We just substitute our pure mass into the new formula. This is the formula we have actually, this is what we want to calculate for. That take us two steps. We have gone for our 12.63 gram per DMQ, now which is the mass. This answer now is the pure mass. So we are putting pure mass into this formula. So percentage QC is now equal to the, the pure mass, which is 12.63 over, I mean divided by our mass of the pure, which is 18.8. That is the mass of the pure, multiplied by 100. So if you press your calculator very well, you get 67 that is, if this is a thing of benefit to you, if you have added value to you, can you subscribe, share the video with anybody that you think will make a name of the video. See you next week. Thank you.